right, so we're down at the rock wall. I've got two lure rods with me. I don't know, is this kind of a challenge? Fishing with only lures for one day? I guess so, that's what we're gonna call the title. Kind of clickbaity, but <laughs> that's what we're doing. On one rod, I've got a three inch bad shad on, slim swim. Other one's got a two, 2.5 electric chicken and a 112 jig head. Honestly, last time I was here, pretty trash conditions as you can, as you guys saw. We're just gonna be trying our luck, testing out different plastics, different scent. I think it's in my pocket somewhere. Anyways, let's catch some fish. Let's turn this camera on. We just made our way down to the rock wall and just wanna try this part out and make my way up. Ugh. And I'm gonna have three points of contact while going down these rocks. Learned that from Fisherman's Life. Plus it's early morning and uh, there's mud on this rock sometimes. And I'm better off staying safe. Oh, all right, that was, that was all right. So as I said, we've got two rods out. Crazy how calm it is. Oh, what? I see something. There's a little crab. Or toad, that's a toadfish. Baby toadfish. Anyways, I've got two rods out. This one's the flathead one, three inch plastic, one eighth jig head. Other one's like a pinky one with a one twelfth jig head. And uh, yeah, let's give it a go. <sighs> Thing spot number three, let's give it a go. Should we move? Usually the flathead like the boats for some reason. They like sit under it. Yeah, or just like beside it, so it's, it's a pretty good spot to target. To be honest, the water's pretty clear. If I went to Docklands or something, I could see a bunch of brim. Fish on. I think it's a flathead. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, it's finding pretty good. It's finding pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay. Come on, come on. I thought it was a little flat, uh, salmon, but hey, haven't seen it yet. Oh, yo, it's a good flathead. <laughs> On the 112th jig head. Let's go. Nice little flatty. Actually, pretty good. Yeah, decent sized flathead. See that? <laughs> I worked it really slow. For some reason, they weren't biting on the 1 8th. So I switched to the, the pinky rod. And uh, yeah, it just catches a flathead out of nowhere. Let's go. This guy only bit right here as well. See, right near the boat, like I said. Oh, wow. Oh, bro. Calm down. <laughs> He's got it really well. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to let out some line. You, you hooked well. I think you're hooked well. Lighting is not the best. I apologize. I think I'm the first one here to catch a fish. I'm the first one. Okay, uh, net. I don't have a net. Anyways, let's yeet this guy in. Oh, wow, it's actually a big one. It's actually a big flathead. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the lip grips just behind you guys and uh, let's secure this fish. Hey, look at that, first fish. Another nice flat head. Perfect conditions for it. I'm gonna use my head to block the sun so you guys can actually see. Look at that, perfect conditions for a flat head. And we actually got one. Look at that, this guy, you know what? Here's what I don't do. I don't measure my fish very often. If it's legal, if it looks legal, that's what I do. If it's coming in close, I use my phone. But I have got my keys with me. And on my keys, there's a little fish measuring thing. It's a ruler, sorry, it's a ruler. That's what it's called. Has to be 27 to keep. This guy is, oh, all right, all right. This guy's coming into 46, 45, yeah. 46 centimeters. Nice flathead. So, how do I close this again? Like that, yeah. So, my family, we've got this event coming up, and, and the boys, we're gonna do a barbecue. So, I'ma keep maybe three or four of these, 
And um, yeah, we're gonna just have a nice barbecue. I, I don't really buy fish from the supermarket. I just go out, catch my own, put it in the fridge and cook it up maybe like next week or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna do barbecue and uh, well, not on camera, but you know, the boys, the family, we're gonna do a barbecue. A few of these, I'll make some fish and chips and uh, yeah, I'll probably put on my Instagram, follow me there, press the subscribe button. Fish on, I think it's a flathead. Holy shit, yo, fish on, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, that's a really good fish. Oh my god, that's a good fish. Holy shit. Yo, it's big, bro. Oh my god, it's a snapper. Oh, it's a pinky. Holy shit. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's take it down. Let's calm down a bit. <laughs> it's a flathead. <laughs> Moving out of that spot, I came over here. First cast, I got a flatty. Flatty, sorry. Flatty, flathead. All right. I just remembered that I don't have a bag. <laughs> I don't have a bag on me. Ah, oh, crap. So just Uber Eats, a can of Pepsi, and they'll give me a bag. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this guy, man. Bro, I've been wanting to eat a flathead for so long. Bro, I jumped on the kayak, out on Karen Beach, trying to catch a freaking flathead. Got babies, bro. And, uh, sorry for the freaking uh, London accent. <laughs> Love London, but I'm from Australia. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's probably one of the worst spots I've ever done my intro. I mean, not the intro, the segment. Look at this. This is actually a huge ass flathead. Honestly, crazy how big it is. <laughs> Yo, this is insane. For so long in lockdown, I've been wanting to catch a flathead. And uh, we finally did, and it's actually pretty damn big. This guy is above legal, I reckon. I reckon 40 centimeters. 40 something centimeters. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even high 30s. This is actually insane. You know, man's got the COVID jab today. The second dose. Probably should be resting. But, you know, man's out here trying to catch some fish. And, uh, <laughs> we did. We caught this. Oh, shit, look at this. Man's got a belly on him. He's been eating good. He's been eating real good. Anyways, I'm going to search in my bag for a plastic bag. If I cannot find one, this guy's going to be chilling under my bag. So... We're gonna have one stinky ass bag in the bus, but it's okay. We're gonna, at least we're gonna be eating good. <laughs> we're gonna be eating good. Okay, let's catch another one. Fish? No. I think it's gonna be one of those days where I gotta move around and cover as much ground as possible. I'm gonna be out here for about seven hours, maybe more. Depends how good the fishing is. Yeah, all I'm doing is hitting weed beds over here. Probably not the best. But I mean, going in the weed beds is always great. But because of this freaking current, underwater current that's pretty strong, I'm guessing all the, you know, weeds are just chilling. Oh, oh, that was, I think that was a hit. I don't know, as soon as I lifted it up, I felt something. Are you going to bite? Fish on! Fish on! Oh shit, it came off! Bruv! No! Why'd you come off? Oh, oh, it came back! <laughs> little salmon! Let's go! Let's go, little salmon! <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> I came off and it came back. Nice! I hope this guy is legal. He might be coming in close. Oh, yep, I got it. I got it. Got it and a bunch of weeds as well. Alright. Alright, move my rod out of the way. Just got another one. Let me get a better grip at it. Oh. Yeah. Nice little salmon. Oh shit. Oh crap. I'm gonna use this guy as bait because I'm gonna be out here for a while. And I've got the big rod out just in case. And it doesn't have any bait. Um so yeah. This guy looks legal. Legal size of 21. Legal size is 21. This guy seems to be about 24, 23. So, I'm gonna whip my phone measurer out and I'm gonna see if this guy's is legal. If it is, we're gonna keep it as bait. So, let's catch, you know, something a bit better, maybe a snapper. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, that's gonna be it for today. Um, caught one flathead, one flathead, fished the pier, fished the rock wall, only got one. But, 
The video might be a bit short. Okay. The only one in this carriage, that's why I'm pretty much talking. Uh, yeah. Might put in some old footage. So, yeah. I'm a bit tired. I'm tired as. Gonna go home, have a shower, eat some food, and sleep. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, that's gonna be it. Hopefully next time we get a bit more luck. Hopefully next time is a bit better weather. So yeah, see you next time.